Welcome, welcome to another episode of the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. Today, we will be making a sinful delight <laughs> brownies from scratch. Join me. So today, we will be making brownies. I love brownies. The first thing we have to do is start melting our butter. I love when things melt. <laughs> as long as it's not me. Anywho. One stick. One stick of butter. <laughs> We're going to put it on a low number. Like three. Because remember I told you we do not want our butter to burn. <laughs> burn. <laughs> now, butter will melt easier and quicker if you put it into cubes. But screw that! We ain't got time for that. <laughs> we'll do it all at once. I like to watch the whole thing melt and toil. Okay, what we're going to do is put our oven on 350. That's preset, so that's freaking easy. While our butter is melting, we're going to crack two eggs. Crack them into a bowl. If you've been watching, you remember why. Right there. Now, one of the things I will say, I cannot stand these little white things that attach to the yolk. It's disgusting. I don't mind in other things that I make, but in brownies, they don't really cook well. And in brownies, I've found them. So you take a fork and you slide it across and lift it out. And there it goes. Now, we have our butter melting. Melting. I'm going to swirl it around just a bit. Try to speed up the process. Now, your pan should be an 8x8 eight eight, and it should be greased and floured. But thanks to Modern Marvels, that's taken care of for us. Baker's Joy. <laughs> this stuff is a marvel. <laughs> Spray, my pretty. Spray. Okay, that's done. Once the butter is melted, we will mix it up with the eggs and vanilla. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love brownies. Now, what we need is a cup of sugar. <laughs> That's a cup. <laughs> ah! Damn it, Frederick. Naughty, naughty Frederick. Hiding in the sugar. That's not good. Why don't you sit over here and help your mother? You're such a naughty little spider. My goodness. You left spider prints in my sugar. One, one cup. <laughs> Melt. Melt butter. It's almost done. Sometimes the waiting is part of the problem. This is really a quick and easy recipe. There have been many nights where I have been sitting in my coffin with my husband and we're trying to think of what we can have for something sweet. That's a little on the evil side. And I always have the ingredients for brownies. Yummy brownies. I'm so excited. Hurry, hurry. It is melted. I'll remove it from heat for one minute. Does you do, 
You do not want to put eggs into hot butter because they will scramble and scrambled eggs and brownies. While I love the grotesque, I don't like that kind of grotesque. I do not think that that would be good. It's frightening to think of. <laughs> I will go ahead and put my two eggs in the sugar. And we have a teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> I love the way it smells. Good vanilla. If you drink it, we'll get you tipsy. Do not ask me how I know that. <laughs> now we shall slowly... I'm going to mix this. I'm going to mix the sugar in just a little bit with this. Go ahead and get those eggs stirred up. Pour in just a little bit of butter. To kind of acclimate it to the temper temperature. It's called tempering. So that you do not scramble your eggs. A little bit more. This is such a good gooey golden delight right now. Mm. Yes! Yes! The call of my master! <laughs> Brownies! The rest of the golden, golden love goodness! I did not know what to call it. <laughs> as much as I love to get crazy, I do not want to sling butter all over the kitchen, so I must control myself. <laughs> I love the way it makes me feel. <laughs> now that we've got the butter, the sugar, the eggs, and the vanilla well incorporated, it is time for the next step. We know what this is! Sifter! <laughs> we need half a cup of flour. And do not forget, we sift our dry ingredients. Half a cup. Right in there. So good. And then, here comes the good part. Cocoa, so delightfully sinful in the best of ways. <laughs> We're going to use a third of a cup of cocoa. A quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And we're going to sift it together. I don't know why I got out my mixer because this recipe does not really call for a mixer. It's very easy to mix up by hand. Now we shall stir together our ingredients. <laughs> and remember while you stir what I told you about overworking flour. We want to get all the ingredients wet. <laughs> Swampy. But not over mixed. We do not want tough brownies. I'm going a little crazy here and slinging stuff, but that's okay. I don't know if you can see how beautiful that is. Look at that. That's beautiful right there. I'm more kind of folding the ingredients together. Once you have the ingredients incorporated, you can make it as it is. I don't want to. I like to add goodies. <laughs> I like everything to be goodies. And that's where this comes in. I have some semi-sweet mini chocolate chips. I'm not going to measure it. Just put some in. Oh. Ah, a little bit more. That's good. That's good. 
And then I have some chopped walnuts, which are not chopped enough to my taste, so I will chop them in my chopper if I can get these stupid scissors. Mm. You know how I love to chop things in my kitchen. <laughs> Put the lid on. <laughs> and now we chop. <laughs> Grind, my pretty. <laughs> Grind. <laughs> Today is the day you die. <laughs> and now we're going to dump those in there. <sighs> These are going to be so good. So delightful. This is going to make the batter very thick indeed. But so good. Then we're going to pour the brownies into our prepared, remember greased and flour, prepared pan. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mmm, mmm, brownies, brownies, so good, scrape every bit, mmm, spread it across the pan, make sure you get it even, push it into the corners, because the corners are the best, mmm, <laughs> mmm, Scrape it off, make sure your fingers are clean. I just washed my hands. And then we can go into the oven. <laughs> they will reach a temperature of 350 degrees and we shall hear the screams. But it'll be worth it. <laughs> We're so set our kitchen timer for 30 minutes. It could be 25, but I know my oven. It will be 30. And then we wait. The timer went off. The call of my master. <laughs> oh, they look so good. But, never trust your oven. Use a toothpick. We shall see. If we stick it in and it comes out clean, they're done. <coughs> That's not clean, but it's because of, it's, it's not batter. That is a chocolate chip. If it was batter, it would be stuck on the outside and not just coloring the stick. <laughs> that is done. That is just chocolate chip. <laughs> and now <laughs> we let them cool. And if we, <laughs> if you feel really evil, we eat the corners before the husband comes home. <laughs> Don't do that, it might cause trouble. <laughs> Corners should be shared two for two. <laughs> but so good. <laughs> so good. No, they're not cool yet, Frederick. You'll burn yourself. You'll burn yourself. You can lick the toothpick. You wait. Wait until they're cool. <laughs> He's got a mind of his own. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. <laughs> Didn't we have delightful fun today? <laughs> oh, brownie goodness. <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> oh, I do want to thank 
all of my subscribers. And I want to thank you for appreciating the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. Please keep commenting. If you have any ideas or recipes you would like me to try, let me know down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Click the like button. If you don't like it, that's okay. All of us witches have our own taste. <laughs> have a good evening. See you next week. Damn it, Frederick! You naughty boy! Scratch! Is there any other way? This is very, very close to my face, isn't it? Fuck. <laughs> what can you see if I stand right here? Probably not much but my boobies! <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> And now we have gross free eggs. <laughs> oh, God, I'm not funny today.